about a common problem worldwide. And this problem is always found in uh, UK when Fajr is actually due. Some, th sometimes you find an hour and a half difference between opinions. This can't be this much, an hour and a half. Yeah, any five minutes, 10 minutes, I, I can tolerate this. But when you say an hour or an hour and a half, so in Sweden, especially when there is problem with the shortness of the night, when they have like four hours, five, 10 minutes more would add a lot of value to them. So they're having problem with the moon sighting as well. Akhi Muhammad, this isn't something that can be answered in a very direct and precise manner. Because the moon sighting depends on the Islamic authority in Sweden. So if you have an Islamic center that the majority, not all, because definitely you will not have all the Muslims uh, uh, collaborating with it, but the majority of Muslims consider that Islamic center or that Islamic Sharia board to give them the rules on divorce, marriage, inheritance, fatwas, to rule cases between Muslims. So they consider it to be an Islamic authority. They give the timings of Ramadan and Eid, and you have to follow that. Whether they do this through calculation, which is wrong, or they do this through sighting of the moon, which might not be very accurate or possible, or they do it through following Saudi Arabia, which a lot of the Islamic centers are doing nowadays, especially in the UK, because it's always difficult to sight the moon always clouds, raining, etc. So they thought it is safer to be with Saudi Arabia all the time, and a lot of scholars have permitted that. So this is for moon sighting. As for Fajr prayer and Isha prayer and Maghrib prayer, etc., sunset we have no problem in. Everybody knows when sunset is. But even though if it is not possible, the scholars have to improvise and come up with a calculation, a method of calculation. The most reliable method of calculation that I know of is Umm al-Qura. When you have an app, it tells you, would you like it to be collaborated or, or uh, to be synchronized with Karachi University or with ISNA or with uh, the Muslim League, or with Umm al-Qura, choose Umm al-Qura. This is the best for Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib. Timings. Isha, it's not accurate, because they always have it as at one and a half hours after sunset, throughout the whole year, 11 months. And in Ramadan, they make it two hours, which is totally wrong. So, what to do when it comes to Isha, you can use the University of Karachi or any other one because usually it is almost accurate. Why do we say that Umm al-Qura calculation is accurate? Because this is what the great scholars such as Sheikh Saleh al-Fuzan has stated. Here in Saudi, it was said that the Fajr time is not accurate. And so many people came and said, no, this is too early. You have to wait another 15 minutes to pray or 17 minutes. And Shiyukh came and said this and that. So they confused the people. I heard this from Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih al-Munajjid himself. When I asked him this question, he said, I asked Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan myself. So this is a connected chain of narrators. And Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan said, my son, I went to a place outside the outskirts of Riyadh and I spent the whole night facing the east, anticipating and waiting for the honest or the true uh, dawn to break. And once I noticed it, it was horizontal, it coincided exactly with Umm al-Qura 
timetable. So depend on this and inshallah, you will uh, be successful.